This is a story you don't see every day. Two different San Diegans found possums in their toilets in the past two weeks. What? How would you like to, um, well, just forget it. <laughs> Only tenders reporter Matt Mendez tracked down the Pacific Beach woman who made the shocking discovery, and I do mean shocking. She reveals how she thinks the critter got into her bathroom. So I came in, and this was up. Patricia Lutmer was about to take a shower on May 1st when she noticed this. It was just freaky and icky. It was like icky, like, like, I'd say toe curling. A baby possum floating in her toilet bowl, staring straight at her. Just looking up at me like, like, what are you, what are you looking at? Like, I was the one that was the crazy one or something, I don't know. Animal Control picked up the possum and took it to Project Wildlife. And just six days later... I was sleeping and I heard a noise and he was down under here, way back there. Those scratching noises were coming from another possum hiding underneath her dresser. And his little eyes were glaring. She captured it in this Tupperware and released it outside. So how did they get in? The window was broke, and I don't know if he crawled up. Animal Control says on Monday it received another report of a possum in a toilet in North Park. Project Wildlife believes both possums came in through open windows or doors, and they say it's common for the critters to go straight for water sources. Their teeth are pretty, pretty sharp. Lutmer has now covered up her broken window and hopes they stay away. Kind of turned into this ridiculous non-ending story of possums in my life. In Pacific Beach, Matt Mendes, 10 News. I